All right, people, welcome to the video. Today is a leg day workout. A few days ago, I did the upper body, so right now we're back with a leg day one. It's a nice, simple routine I think many of you can follow. But anyways, people, enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a second. All right, people, so the next up, what we're doing is the goblet squat. Uh, it's a great exercise, it focuses on your quads as well. The key thing with it as well, you're probably not going to be able to lift as heavy as you would probably if you did like a, um, a barbell squat or something like that. However, it's still a very good exercise. So because you can't lift as much, so with that weight, a good way to get more time under tension, actually make your muscles work, is going for a little bit higher reps. So say if on a uh, squat you normally do maybe 8 to 10 or maybe 8 to 12. On goblet squats, I'd probably do a minimum of 12, so say 12 to 15. It's an easy way to get it up, put it on a bench. Squat down, put your hands like this, and boom. Also, another variation of this as well, if you don't, if you feel uncomfortable holding the weight upright, depending on how big the weights are, you can hold it between your legs and just squat that way, but you may need to stand on something to kind of raise yourself up so you're not actually hitting the weight off the floor like this. Oh, another old tension as well is if you have a kettlebell instead, kettlebell is probably shorter, so you can probably be able to do the motion fully because it's not as long as a dumbbell. So mix it up and see what's good for you. Make sure you have a nice controlled motion. Rule number one when using these exercises, do not make eye contact with anybody opposite you because it's awkward. Uh, in regards to the, the breaths though, I like going for 12 of both motions. So the ones I'm around 12 breaths. Control, don't go too quick and especially control the negative. This is a great exercise, so uh, yeah, don't avoid this machine. Many people use them in the gym, they're not just for women. careful when you use this exercise, don't try and go too heavy too fast because if you don't train these muscles often, which many of us don't, you will feel it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and you won't be able to walk. And here, if your gym happens to have a long area like this, Walking lunges are a must, I love them. Rather than just lunging in place, propelling yourself forward is a lot harder. So yeah, I recommend it. When it comes to walking lunges, the key thing is control. When you're walking, make, the reason why you want to be controlled is because you don't want to bang your opposite leg off the floor, which many people do when they walk. Because the weight's pulling them down, their knee just bang the floor, which you don't want to do. So one of the last leg things we're going to do is a weight sledge. I know not everyone may have one of these in their gym, so you may have to skip it or switch out with a different exercise. But this is something I like doing. I sometimes do runs. Sometimes I do like heavier weight and like push it slowly. Depends on how I feel. But today I'm going to pick a moderate weight. It's going to be in between like a slight jog. So push it up and push it back. I normally try and do at least four lengths. So whether it's a really heavy weight, I do one by one or if it's moderate to light, I'll try and do it all the way up and all the way down, so that's like two bits in one go. So yeah. Right, people want to end off. I don't mind doing abs, so choose whatever ab exercise you want. Personally, 
There's like one of two that I mainly use. One of them usually being a hanging knee raise or a hanging leg raise. A great exercise, but obviously you have to hold your own weight if you can't do that. Probably get like a crunch machine, something like that instead. You can't do leg raises or knee raises or anything hanging, which to be honest is one of my favorites for the low abs especially. Use a weighting machine. You may not have this weighting machine because this gym is the only gym I've ever seen this one in, but many gyms have various versions of weighting machines, probably more seated. But yeah, this one, you put the weights on here and you get into a crunchy motion and you lift your knees to your chest. These exercises are killer. So if you don't train your core often, I would definitely start on a lightweight. Ah, okay, I feel dead. Ooh, shit. RIP in my stomach. And that gets with a belly fat. Make a million cash for you flat line. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.